If you are low spend or free to play, today I'm gonna show you how to get these books just by playing the game. Welcome everybody, welcome. If you don't know me, I'm Bear Cozy. I strive to make not only entertaining, but also educational videos. I like to have a good time. I also like to show off my progress, whether it's win or fail. Now, some of my previous videos, I've showed off some successes, and I've also showed off some of my failed runs just to show my progress and to show what I'm working on. And what I wanna talk about today is free resources, especially if you are low spend or free to play. Now, as you can see, I'm currently working on the Dragon Cup Rally. It is Ash Magisteria going on right now. And if we take a look at the rewards, half of the rewards are basic, which are unlockable just by playing the game. And the other half, unfortunately, is a pay to win. It's locked behind a paywall. However, we can work around this if you are low spend. There is a way around this. Now, the one disclaimer is you will not going to be able to get every single progress reward for every single tournament, but there is a way around this. And today we're talking quests. Now, if you've been playing the game for any amount of time, we are all familiar with daily quests. Of course, we all get nice rewards every single day. We claim rewards here. But what I want to talk about today specifically are the weekly quests. Now, what makes the weekly and the advanced quests very interesting is, of course, the resources that we get from completing the weekly quests. The first thing on the weekly quest being, of course, the legendary badge matrix there. This is going to be used to synthesize a legendary badge so you can unlock the pay side of the rewards under the dragon cup that comes by completing weekly quests so if you're not doing those you are missing out and then of course we also have the advanced quests and this is what my point of the video is now the advanced quests are very very interesting and we get lots of resources here as you can see right now, I am at 2,005 out of 2,000 points. That is the max every single week that you can get. And once we claim all of the rewards, the quests reset so we can start the process all over again. And that is a really good way to get yourself some good resources, including books. Now, as you can see, I accidentally claimed the first two. They were sitting there just like this. I wanted to make this video for all of them and I accidentally ended up clicking on the screen and I claimed the first two. So right now the first two are claimed and the first one was a star stone and uh, some, some crafting materials on the first one. On the 800, we actually had a starlit tendril which is used to advance your heroes from 60 to 70. You need those so you can get that for free as well as a three star pumpkin just by completing these advanced quests. 1200, let's see, 1200 actually gave me everything and this is a really good screenshot moment. And as you can see here, we got one book of Epic Masters, we got a book of Legendary Masters, and an Elite book, as well as some crafting materials. So this is actually really good, and of course the uh, double experience boost, but the books are fantastic. So this is a really good way to do it, right? If you are low spent or if you are free to play, you can actually get these books just by participating, just by completing the quests every single day, and you get these books. Now, I know this is one of each. This is three books. It's not a lot, and I know the heroes take a lot to complete. However, the good news is here is you can do this multiple times over and over again, so it is a slow and steady progress, and as I've mentioned before, I have some of my friends asking me, who should they focus on, how many heroes they should build, and my answer typically stays the same. Focus on one or two heroes that can help you everywhere. For me, that is Nathalia, that is what I've chosen to focus on, and right now, that is Opal. I use Nathalia in the banker, I use Nathalia almost everywhere in every single dungeon. I also use her in Arena, and for right now, she is in my B team comp as well, my team B banker comp, and the second hero for me is Opal. I use Opal almost everywhere. She's in my banker team. She is in my Ash Magisteria 15 speed farming team. She is in my Witch of the Wind uh, 15 speed farming team as well. And she's very, very good in a few other places. She's good in Arena, good in Void Tower. So I've chosen to focus on two heroes and you can do the same. So even if you are struggling for books like me, one hero at a time will make all the difference. So now that we've gotten these quests completed, we can start all over again. The nice thing is that the points actually accumulate and you don't lose points once you go over 2,000. As you can see, I'm starting back from five points again. 
and we can actually start claiming some of these I had completed but I have not claimed them yet so now that I am 20 points into 2000 points and you can do this every single week and you can see the advanced quests reset every day so the first of course is crafting and then of course we get the starlight tendril and then we start getting the books so at 1200 you do get a elite book and you do get an epic book and as you can see i have six epic books and i actually have quite a bit of elite books because i've been completing in the tournaments and then we start going into the crafting rewards and of course the legendary book and the boost so we can do this every single week however long it takes i don't know exactly how long it takes to complete this sometimes i miss all my advanced quests because of work and making videos but if you are not completing these advanced quests every single day you are missing resources and that is a really good way to get books and resources for your one or two heroes that you can focus on to build them really strong and they will help you almost everywhere the other thing that i've mentioned before of course is the weekly quest and then of course this legendary badge of matrix once you get 10 you can use them to synthesize a badge these are going to be under materials and there you go so once you get 10 matrixes you can actually synthesize one badge and then you can use this legendary badge here you can go back out to your dragon cup rally and you can use the legendary badge to unlock rewards and in that you can also get yourself one more legendary book now right now we have the magic dice which i've made a video on how to use them and i did not think it was worth it at all um, I've made a video on this, what they do, how to use them. And for me, it's just not worth the value is not there for me, but you be the judge of that. But once you unlock your badge, that is also a good way to get free resources as well. So you can unlock the paywall with the badge once you get it from the advanced quest from the weekly quest. So there it is. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you are completing all of your quests all the time, because if you are not, you are actually missing out on all of these resources that can take you a long way because we have a lot in there. So with that said, leave me a like and a subscribe down below. Leave me a nice comment. Don't forget to join my Discord. Come be a part of the small community. And for more videos like this, check out the top right.